Well, we right here, folks, and um, again, we most definitely feed him. Um, as y'all know, it's nighttime, so it's about time for me to actually feed him tonight. Uh, I will be going back outside, but of course, uh, you know, we got the Diamond Naturals right here. That's what you see right here for Caramel. Got Crush Bowl. The good thing is, is that they actually got select um, amounts that you actually need to feed your dogs with regards to um, feeding them. You feel what I'm talking about? And of course, as always, um, I'm going to add my showstopper. And got it right. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be me if I didn't have the showstopper. Um, that's where. And uh, of course, uh, for Carmel, I just give her a full scoop right there over hers. And then. Full scoop. I'm kind of getting low right now on the shot stopper, so I think next I'll be going up to like a. Um, they got a container that's like four times bigger than this and show stopper, and um, you get it for actually for about 50 bucks. So it's like for the price of two and a half of these, so you're getting actually two and a half times more of the show stopper actually when you purchase it like that. But what, what I'm gonna do here is just because once again, crush. For all of y'all that know, is bigger than caramel, and we really getting low down here on this showstopper here. So, what I'ma do is I'ma, you know, just selectively pour it over there for crush, and make sure it gets in there. Then what I do is I mix it up like that, right? And sometimes I don't add water. I like to add water. But when I give it a good shake like that sometimes, and it can be coated. See, I'm just trying to make sure it all get coated. Even though that the dog is going to eat it all and it all is getting in the intestines or whatever. Nonetheless, I try to let it all get coated and seasoned. You know, just like Big Mama would if she was cooking some gumbo or seasoning some chicken and things like that for for the family, you know what I mean? But nonetheless, um, you know, Diamond Naturals is the dry food that we actually um, use, and this is just a, a personal bag that I keep with me from time to time when we actually traveling. But of course, as y'all know, um, today is the first day that we actually feed them raw. So with that being said, um, earlier today I actually made a little video um, with Crush and Carmel. I don't know if y'all seen the one with Crush when he actually came out the gates, but today I'm actually feed Crush first, but I'm just right now preparing the meal and in the process of doing so, just wanted to let y'all know um, what I did. So basically what I did, I gave Crush about two and a half scoops of dry and I gave Carmel um, one and a half scoops of dry. And um, from there, what I did was I gave um, Crush, or should I say Caramel Scoop of um, Showstopper. And I gave Crush maybe two scoops, you know what I mean, about two scoops. And, um, you know, I kind of eyeballed it. But like I said, I don't normally, uh, you know, measure it out to the specifications that they actually uh, you know, require an individual to. Nonetheless, what I'm going to do now, though, let get some of this raw. And, uh, you know, for Crush, you know, he is a big boy. So, I'm going to kind of pile it on for him and allow him to, uh, you know, do his thing. And for Caramel, I'm going to give Caramel, uh, I mean, this is nice pieces right here. I mean, but nonetheless, you know, it's raw. So, it don't even matter. It's something for them to chew on. It's more or less like a, also like a treat. You know what I mean? You can use these as treats for your dogs from time to time. If you don't want to um, buy them real treats or what have you, you could actually give them these as treats. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually get caramel a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, see, the thing is, is I don't really want to overfeed them when it comes to the raw and or the um the dry you know because truthfully be told um 
with the dry for the specifications of my dog sizes I should just be feeding them the amount of dry that's in there at this in particular time because by feeding them twice a day at these equivalents um, I'm at the equivalent value of what they actually saying that an individual should be feeding their dog however at this in particular time what I'm doing is I'm actually just adding the raw to that same diet and hopefully what I will do over the course of time is decrease this which means that once I actually see uh, more of the fat store into my dogs once I see their coat and things like that and their body actually get more fuller I will um, maybe take away from either or you know what I mean I'll figure it out but nonetheless at this point in time um, you know I do want to allow them to have these treats so this, this is basically it and then what I am going to do is I'm just going to coat it a little bit more because my dogs actually like this showstopper. Once you guys um, go out and get the showstopper and actually start putting these good vitamins um, into the food for your dogs, they're going to love it. They're really going to love it. So right now, like I said, I'm getting to the end of this showstopper. Uh, maybe my next video, um, I'll be showing you guys the the other bottle that's about 50 bucks or whatever but nonetheless it will of course last longer and uh, it's just like good vitamins for your dogs you know what I mean nonetheless that's really what the showstopper is all about um, several different vitamins um, calcium phosphorus uh, you know sodium magnesium iron copper zinc it's a lot of different things vitamin A vitamin D vitamin E uh, you name it, it's in here, niacin, and niacin is kind of crazy because niacin um, actually clears a lot of things up, which is perfect, and that's what I actually keep their immune system uh, so so well intact. That's that's what it is, and, and this right here is um, made by Renature. You guys could actually just Google Renature. Um, they have a, a, a long line of different products um, that you can actually um, take a look at. But what I want to do right now, folks is um just bear with me while I um yeah right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let crush out so crush can eat real fast let him eat right here crush come eat what Yeah, I ain't even gonna go nowhere. Let him eat it right here. You know what I mean? Let him do his thing for the night. You know, it look like he enjoying it. Um, he actually had some earlier for the first time, and he was really enjoying himself. I was like, wow. Look at him just wagging his tail away. And it's kind of crazy because between Crush and Carmel, he's he's you know you know a lot more frisky or whatever. Carmel is just cool, calm, relaxed, kicked back. Don't like to be bothered much for the most part. Um, you know, how we raise our dogs. You know, we love them and let them be them. Um, yeah, and you know, this is just a cool feeding that allows them to, you know, be who they are. Allow them to, um, you know, eat raw meat as if they was right there out in the wild. And you know, at first I was thinking like, you know, I don't want to give my dog no raw food. You know what I mean? I got to at least cook it. You know, but, you know, when they was actually talking to me inside the um, pet food store where I actually go and shop and explaining some different, you know, things to me and showing some different things. And then I actually went back and checked out some different YouTube videos about feeding your dog raw and cooking for your dog and all of that. I mean, it's just, you know, a whole lot better knowing what your dog is actually putting inside of them. It's another great company by the name of Victor that actually sells a um, brand of dog food that's awesome. It's right in the same price range as the um, Diamond Naturals. Um, however, um, for the lamb, it's just a little bit more expensive. It is, I'm going to be honest, it is a better brand than Diamond Naturals. It's just a little bit more pricier. However, um, you know, um, for me, 
you know, Diamond is, you know, what I'm going to be sticking with for right now. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, um, you know, there is a, there is other brands out there that you can actually get your dog. And, and the thing is, is what you really kind of want to do is like put a bowl up and maybe buy two or three different brands and um, see which one your dog actually want to go to first. You know what I mean? To actually eat. And then that'll give you an um, a opportunity to see which one they actually like. And so, you know, yeah, check that, check into that. Also, a lot of y'all might be, okay, you know, I see a little redness right there on, on his cheek. But that's due to Carmel actually being in heat right now and just was going through her heat cycle. So of course, as you all know, when dogs is in heat, they kind of get aggravated when a when a male dog, which crushes the male right here, is always trying to pounce on the other one. She she kind of get a hold of him in the jaw and maybe in the leg areas, um, and, and that's what she do to him. You know what I mean? But other than that, um, he's a great dog, most definitely beautiful. Um, we didn't had him and his mother and dad and. A lot of other dogs in our family for some time now. A lot of generations of these 34 down kennel blues. Come here, Crush. Come eat, boy. They listen. They good dogs. They good dogs. Eat, boy. Good boy. Eat. Eat, Crush. Yeah, he a good boy. That's what they do. They listen. Go eat. Get out of my camera face. Don't lick my camera. I know how you get to getting. Alright, that's enough of you.